you don't have any idea what love is until you have a baby, I don't think. I, I always describe having children as, it's, you know, your world is there and then you, you have a baby and the whole axis tips. So everything, you see everything differently. It was just a real moment of um, celebration and life celebration and wow, we're going to do this. Yeah. It's the most amazing, rewarding, life-affirming, fantastic, joyous thing that you could go through. It's like this love that you know will never, ever be broken. I looked at her and I thought, that's, that was why I was here, put here. It opens your heart to the whole world. You feel this empathy with every other mother. I didn't really allow myself to think that I was going to have a baby until I heard him cry. And it was um, just amazing. I, I don't think I ever feel anything like that. My greatest creation was that child. The first time I found out I was pregnant, I was quite shocked. I just felt so excited and privileged and awestruck. I was really lucky with my pregnancy that I was able to get, um, you know, as much care as uh, any woman in um, New Zealand could hope to get, really. I had preeclampsia, and then on top of that, um, the birthing process was really difficult. Without medical care, I would have died. He came out and he wasn't breathing, so he had to be taken to NICU, the intensive care unit, for, and stay for a couple of days. If we had tried to have him at home on our own, or if we'd had no assistance whatsoever, he could have died, and that is the basic fact of it. I, it just, I can't even, I can't even go there. I think I kind of, I've got a, a mental block. Every pregnancy, either miscarried or threatened to miscarry. I really did need experts to tell me everything was okay. For me, a GP, even a really good GP, was never going to be enough. It's heartbreaking to consider that there are women who would have been and um, have been and will be in the position that I was and may not make it. So if I'm sitting here worried as a Kiwi, what's happening in the Pacific where they don't have the access to all of this stuff that we do? If I was sitting there watching her waste away in my arms, I don't know how I could bear that. I can't imagine what it would be like to have a baby, actually have the baby, hold the live baby in your arms and then lose it. I just, oh my God, I, had, I don't even know how people survive that, to be really honest. When you let yourself think about what some children her age aren't getting, it's just horrific. I'm aware, I'm acutely aware of how lucky I am living in New Zealand. I think any mother that has to struggle to look after their, ba their child's basic um, health needs it must be like hell. And they, unfortunately for them, are worlds apart, um, but they'll just be fighting like we are. To be honest, I had absolutely no idea that things were so grim for mums and babies in our own backyard. It is basically unfair. It should be a basic human right to be able to access basic medical care for the most vulnerable members of society. That's a basic human right, isn't it?